Notion is built for teams of all shapes and sizes. And when some or all of your colleagues are working from home, located in other offices or time zones, Notion is where your team can work together, no matter where you are. In this video, I'll show you how to build a workspace that's optimized for distributed teams and remote work, and share some tips and best practices along the way. Here's what your finished product could look like. This workspace has a shared knowledge base that anyone in the company can access, a few shared databases for projects, docs, and meeting notes, and homepages for different teams like the engineering team and sales team. I'll show you how to build this using Notion's pre-made templates, but keep in mind that these templates are only a starting point to quickly add some structure to your workspace and get you on your way. You and your team can always customize these templates so that they do exactly what you need. Feel free to pause this video at any time and build along with me. Let's start by creating a shared knowledge base that anyone on your team can access to find vital information like benefits, policies, mission and vision, whatever is important to your team. Click the Add a Page button in the Workspace section of your sidebar. Pages in the Workspace section are visible to everyone in the Workspace, whereas pages in the Private section are only visible to you. If you don't see these sections, they'll show up after you invite more people to work with you. To save some time, we'll start with a pre-made template. Click here to pull up the template picker. You'll see that templates are organized by category. Go to the Human Resources section, then Company Home. Click the Use This Template button and add it to your workspace. When teammates are distributed across multiple locations and time zones, it's especially helpful to have one source of truth where employees can find what they need fast without having to ask. No more guessing where important information lives. You can click into any of these subpages and start customizing them to fit your own team. Or use slash command page to add new subpages here depending on what you need. Inside these pages, you can click anywhere and just start typing to add some text. Or hit the forward slash key to see a menu of all the different types of content you can add to Notion. Images, videos, PDFs, code snippets, to-do lists, calendars, the list goes on. More on this in the slash commands video linked here. Here's a best practice that we found to be helpful. Add a note at the top of important pages to indicate who's responsible for keeping this information up to date and when it was last updated. You can use at mentions for this. For example, Edgar Degas last updated on April 3rd, 2020. That way, any team member who's looking at this page knows if the information is up to date or if it's getting stale or who to go to if they have any questions. And if you're curious how recently someone has accessed this page, all you have to do is hover your cursor over these avatars at the top right. The avatar at the far left is the one who's been on the page most recently. This company home template is great for information that impacts the entire company, but you can also create sections within your workspace for each team to work together. Hover over the workspace section of your sidebar again and click the plus button that appears. We'll name this page Sales, and another named Engineering. You could leave them empty, so those teams can determine however they want to work together. But we have a few ideas too. For instance, you can turn this page into an Engineering Wiki using one of our templates. And this one into a Sales Wiki. Giving every team their own place to work has a double benefit. It gives folks one place to focus, while making their information transparent to the rest of the company in case others want to know what's going on. And you don't have to use templates as you build out your workspace. You can always start from scratch. For example, let's add an empty page for marketing. And another one for customer success. Folks from those teams can start customizing their pages however they like. We know that Notion isn't the only tool your team uses, and you might have legacy documentation that lives in other places. But all that content can also live in your Notion workspace, so everyone has the same information. Embed content directly into any Notion page from more than 600 tools and websites, including Google Drive, Typeform, Spotify, YouTube, and many others. For remote teams, we found the embeds for Figma, Loom, and Miro to be particularly helpful. 
Each of these services make a great complement to Notion in your software stack. We've included links to each of these in the description below. Next, we'll create a couple of shared databases for your team. Click the New Page button, and let's add a few templates. Like meeting notes, so that you have one repository where everyone can add their notes from meetings that all can see and learn from. And docs where you can keep the documents that run your team neatly organized in one spot from product specs to campaign proposals. It's an easy way to collect everyone's feedback and keep everyone in the loop on what's happening. This roadmap template in particular is useful for managing your projects remotely in Notion. Each of the cards on this board represent a project that can be assigned to a teammate, given a due date, and tagged to match your workflow. And inside each card is a Notion page where you can add even more context about the project add any type of content you like, including other pages. These properties you see on each card are customizable too. Edit them in the properties menu at the top. You can indicate the priority level of each project, list the stakeholders involved, or even attach relevant files. When your projects are grouped by status like this, you can click and drag to move them through your process. But you could also group by project manager, engineer, or priority level. And with these other database views, you can plot these projects on a calendar or filter to only view items tagged with bug report. With a database like this, your whole team can see all the projects going on, progress being made, and click to get more detail if they want, all without having to have a meeting or be in the same office. I won't go into the nitty gritty of databases in this video, but there's lots of resources in our Help Center and YouTube channel to show you the ropes. Lastly, let's talk about all the collaboration tools built into Notion so you can have whole conversations in the app and cancel more meetings. You can quickly get your colleagues' attention by mentioning them anywhere on any page, a virtual way to tap your teammate on the shoulder. Let's use this meeting note as another example. You can pin a discussion to the top of any page like this. Now type the at symbol followed by the person's name. This person will get a notification right away, along with a link that takes them straight to the page. Click the resolve button to archive this discussion and you can reference them later by clicking resolve discussions. For more specific exchanges, you can leave comments on any content block or selected text. Mention a teammate in your comment, and they'll be notified with a link that takes them to the exact part of the page you commented on. When you're collaborating with a teammate in a different time zone, asynchronous communication like this helps both parties move the ball forward around the clock. To stay on top of the work going on across your team, you can receive notifications in Slack when certain pages are updated. Let's use the What's New page in our company home as an example. You can create a Slack channel for important company announcements or use an existing channel. By enabling the integration in the Updates menu here, that Slack channel will automatically update whenever someone adds new information to this What's New page, alerting the whole team. You could also use this integration to be notified of changes to your company sales CRM, editorial calendar, or recruiting pipeline whatever you want. This updates menu is also where you'll find a comprehensive change log of everything happening on this page. There might be multiple teammates from multiple offices working on any given project in the company roadmap, but by opening the updates menu, you'll know exactly who did what and when. For example, you can see a timestamp from when this member moved this project from in progress to complete. Or in the docs database, you can see which member of the customer support team made edits to this troubleshooting document, what they deleted and what they added. With your new workspace, you and your team will have one central place to get work done, access important documentation, and move projects forward. As you create more documentation and get more work done in Notion, your workspace will grow into a living archive of company decisions and team knowledge that still helps you focus on what's important right now. Notion is the only knowledge-based tool where you can actively do your work together at the same time. 
In this video, I showed you how to quickly create a workspace designed to accelerate remote work. With Notion, you don't have to share an office to get work done. With one central place for all your team's notes, docs, and projects, you can get more done together no matter where you are. See you online.